Okay, so check out map. We made it all the way up to the West Point Mansions. And we did those three. There is still there's still another cabin over there. Um we will have to deal with that and its potential occupant if we decide to move up here. Uh, I guess while I'm here I could steal hedges and bird baths and stuff, but again we, we might be coming back here to set up, so it would be a bit of a waste. Is that a corner hedge? Yeah, low corner hedge. So corner hedges do exist. They're just, um, I think there's two, two corner hedge sections in Mulgore. Low corner hedge sections. I uh, know there might be some more zombies running around this road, but... Um, okay, so we want to get home, but we want to sort of take this this long way through um, more like the road to Riverside really it's basically we're gonna take every right we can for a while uh, did I want to check any of these we did have some large bags not that you really need a large too many large bags once you've got it's that first one that you really need. Oh gee, it's already two. God, I cleared things slowly. We literally have to sit there and wait for the sun to come up. And then it's taken us five hours. Ooh, a gas mask. That's weird, my gas mask is listed as a normal gas mask, that is listed as a mod gas mask. I wonder if there's a difference. Kill this guy again under my policy of if you can see it, kill it. Yeah, we haven't always followed that through. Damn it. I pulled the gun out, but I pulled the gun out that I already had out, so it puts it away. I need to get a little bit better at that. What was I saying? Um. Yes, yeah, so this could be a long looping drive. Uh, yeah, this can say the only zombies we'd likely to find are event type zombies. Which I would rather clear. Probably not a great place to kill them. Else is coming, it's caught up on the trees, or it's not coming. Maybe we don't need a hiking bag. Uh, I did kill it at the very right, yeah. So that would have been, been very horror movie. If I turn around the corner and there's just a, a bloody bandana and no dead zombie. And then he velociraptors me. Yeah, so this should be entirely out of a um, zombie spawn area. Uh, without too many zombies even placed here initially. So you're more likely to find them from this, this exact sort of thing. And again, I'd rather kill them now than have them 
eventually jump me when I'm um, foraging or fishing or trapping or cutting down trees or whatever. So we're not over encumbered. Or yeah, good. Let's try to pick up the pace a little. plan is just drive, cover a bunch of ground and maybe we'll pass a truck that's in working condition or can be made to be working. Okay, so left will take us back towards West Point. Oop, wrong road here, so that'll link up with where we've been. We're going to go the other way and go the long way around. Um, again, I'd prefer to have another two or three hours of daylight, uh, but one zombie banging on a door slows me down for two hours as I um and err about it. Again, to be fair though, going in that building, had I done a half ass job of that, um, he, he had a roll of the dice. That's what I, I want to avoid. Like if I'd gone in that building unprepared, there was, there was a a much more than zero chance that, that they would have jumped me. Um, it was like that zombie. No, he never had a chance. Like his best chance was a computer crash or something. Jam. I'm actually surprised there are these guys are this close. This, I said this area is usually very abandoned. Well, maybe I'm further away than I thought already. Ah, oh, nope, there we go. That's That might be why they were here. Uh, that looks like it could be a bit tight. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they, they might have spawned with that. Or not, we might just be um oh. Oh, that's another one. Rifle's empty at the moment. Um Yeah, I said I was gonna try to make good time and I am not doing that. rather not be trying to navigate Ekron or something like that in the dark. We've got some places up ahead that have a lot of zombie spawn. Look at my map. We are... Oh yeah, we're, we're significantly far from the mansion. I don't really have to worry about that guy um, wandering over there.
know, I left that zombie now, it's probably going to go kill Uncle Ben. Is that a road? It is kind of in the direction we want to go. Uh, nah, let's stick to the better road for now. Although again, it is getting it is getting late. And if this, I think this is going to take us actually over to Riverside. Maybe we should try to cut south. Yeah, see if we can hit up with that link up with that road. There's a print screen. Uh, is that a, I wonder if that a crash? Or is that something that's grown up under the car and has then moved to... Yeah, I was going to say Red Bean. I like the hustle of trying to get out of... Get out of town with a trailer. Where the hell am I? I mean, I, I may have just driven somewhere with it with no road access at all. In fact, it appears to be just so. Well, I could sleep here tonight, although it's all first grant, first story, and people living the first story deserve to get eaten by zombies. collection of nothing in particular. Okay, so... Yeah, we backtrack very, very far that way. We're not getting home tonight. Or, or yeah, we do the big loop. Um, hey, zombie. No, we're not getting home anyway. You may as well die. you run off. You probably run off. Okay. Clever zombie. What was that? Maybe I just turn and bolt into the trees? So you say there's plenty of houses around here we could grab one, but there's also quite a few zombies. Automated broadcast. Oh, there's a blackout. Okay, that to the left of me. Is that going to be just a um, a road to someone's house? Fog. Um, oh, this worked out nicely. This will link us up to a road we've travelled once before, which I guess is 
defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do in terms of to cover new ground to find a truck um, maybe I should go check up the other side of West Point uh, Riverside let's check how we're doing with water that canteen's got some water Okay, so we're, we're okay for water. We're okay for gas. Um, our wheels are not great, so we don't want to have to run over a whole bunch of people. I wonder if I kill these guys in the way to clear before. Just do this where you park your car here and a zombie can't get to you. Yeah, windows closed, that's fine. Yeah, let's just try sitting here. Okay, well, that worked well. So now, while it's early in the morning, we have lots of lots of time. Um, let's go check out this part of Riverside. We'll come back, and rather than go that route, we'll head past. I think that would be the Pony Romo. And we'll take that route back to Muldrow. And we're getting a fog, as we heard on the radio yesterday zombie was somewhat close to where we're sleeping. Uh, just for that I am going to pop you two. And by two I of course mean you at least two. stop and shoot everyone on this road uh, I would be here yeah I'd be here for a while that said we do have to try not to run over people last time we came back from Riverside I think we had a tire on 11% by the time we got home or something like that it was it was not good and that was back when we were using our um, our car as a weapon a lot I um, mean we raided Lot of ammunition from the Riverside Police Station, but at that time we couldn't really shoot it very well, and we weren't certainly doing so as our primary means of attack. Now, I can't remember the last time we actually just drove over 30 things, but I like that we've got the option. I tried to avoid that. <laughs> weird how small the spawn is compared to um, I don't know what it was even on the post those large edges look very nice against the wall like that okay so we're looking for a truck and honestly while we're here we may as well kill a whole bunch of people because we're almost certainly coming back here for more gardening stuff at some point I mean, we didn't actually bring lots of 9mm ammo, so we're not going to be able to sustain this level of, of shootiness jam. I guess I could switch to the M14, that's not going to run out of ammunition. So the, the gun will melt before we run out of ammunition. This fog is annoying, I don't really know our way around here very well. And given we're trying to look for something, albeit it is a truck, so that should be pretty easy to spot. Jam. jam. I was just saying in a recent video that oh maybe they don't jam as much as I make out and it just feels more impactful but that was 
but they're not too back to back but they were they were close enough together that that could have got me in an extraordinary amount of trouble but we are being chased and that was my last shot I can't even tell if that road continues. Probably. Although there's... Whoa. So that was me with the foot and the accelerator as I started reloading. Uh, hearing that there's probably a road. It's a bit like hearing a pilot and aircraft say everything's Probably gonna be fine. Wow, this fog is thick. Not, not having much luck. I really could be just driving past all sorts of interesting things. Oh. I'm not pull my window open, I don't want to shoot these things. Oh, hey, there's a road. God knows where this is going. Okay, that was a bust. Oh, and there's a fog going to start clearing. And the fact that this is keeping me down at Sunday driver speed as well. I'm not sure if that road continued onwards or if I had to turn. I really cannot tell. Okay, well, fuel's still good. We still had a couple of other bottles of water in the car. Uh, we're getting a few more zombies. Uh, well, I would stop, but not here. Okay, if something happens to my car at this point, I'm in a lot of trouble. I have no idea where I am. Why there's so many zombies here? I don't want to pull up my map. Okay, well I definitely missed my turn off south. So I think we're taking a long, long way around. I didn't know that there were so many zombies around over this. I know they put in some new buildings and things over here. Um I mean I'm talking over here is in sort of in this quadrant of the map. Um not being very specific. Uh but yeah that that felt like a lot of zombies on that road. This bulk is really starting to give me the shits. Well, fortunately it is at least still early in the morning. We haven't particularly lost any time yet. This would be more pleasant if I could see where I was going. I thought there was just one guy following me there. That was a jam. What I call that before, like a lazy spawn blob. They've all popped in, but they, ha they haven't bothered to spread them around to the, the zone or anything. Just, yeah, just drop them. 30 in one spot and let him let them wander off. Go away, zombie. God, I swear they sometimes run out and literally throw themselves under the tires. I saw it in that zombie's eyes. It was like, I'm going to leap under these tires and have them crush my skull and make that strange and satisfying popping noise.
Okay, so yeah, we've um, we've taken a very long detour uh, for very little point, as we haven't been able to see anything, and it's basically going to get us back to where we were yesterday. And then we still have the choice: do we go back via the? West Point to Muldra Road or down towards the more Rosewood to Muldra Road. Yeah, this seems strange why there's so many zombies just standing out here on the road. Yeah, if they were like m actively in a group migrating a direction, that might be okay, but it's just weird that they just. They're just out here, no vehicles or anything. Again, if the road was, you know, chocked with vehicles, sort of season one Walking Dead style, yeah, well, that would be something. Oh, bridge. And the fog is clearing up. Okay, so which route am I going to take home? I'll go right through Ekron. I don't want to get out and look under the hood. It's not great. I think we've got a bit of metal in the car. Or did I actually put it in my bag? Yeah, I have to leave that in my bag. Okay, let's check again that we're alone. We'll turn back towards the civilized end of Kentucky. As far as I know. Certainly our base is in this direction. Sledge. Um, do I want to kill a bunch of people for a sledgehammer? I mean, usually that's going to be the answer. Once again, let's confirm the windows down. Let's check our map. Yes, yeah, so we push. Oh, actually, maybe this isn't the road I thought. Uh, east a bit, south a bit. We'll figure it out. We can figure out the next three hours. That'll be nice. Well, so that's my fourth sledgehammer on this run. So very sorry to the people who managed to go like six months not finding a single one. Although three of them were in the one building, so that was a little bit overkill. The roads are so much more pleasant when not covered in fog and zombies. Let's check our map again. Keep heading this basic direction. Is 
a, a, a very good car accident is still my best bet of getting killed at the moment. Okay, almost 6.30. We'll lose the light in about an hour. Where the hell are we? Okay, so that was the Pony Roma. So... I think just straight down this road will link us up with that other main road. Main, main-ish anyway. Yeah, so that farm near the Pony Romo is another nice base with a well. So you really don't have to worry about um, water management with a well. You don't even have to purify it. I think there is a pile up ahead of us. Stay there. Oh boy, that was an adventure, and let's not lose our shit when we see this mannequin. Okay, we've got a cooking book to read, but we're not going to do that tonight. Okay, everybody, I'm definitely going to leave it there. You all have a great day. That was tiring.